Right, just bought this uh, Toshiba laptop for £10 from a boot sale and a couple of quid for the charger. The charger works, I've tested that, got 15 volts coming out. Let's just see what happens here. Switch on. Okay, got lights on there. There we go. That's where the date and time's lost. I've got some batteries for that. Okay, good. And save changes and exit. Yes. Oh, I see. They put Ubuntu on. That's interesting. Perhaps I'll do the same. X Ubuntu. From my understanding, X Ubuntu is what they put on low spec PCs and laptops. So, if um, if it runs well, then that's perhaps what I'll put on there. It's okay, isn't it? it? Seems to be booting up. Word, it probably will. Oh no! Oh yes, it does. Username, password, password. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, it's obviously going to need me to uh, install, fresh install. But at least we know it works. So there we go. Not bad. Yeah, back to that uh, Toshiba laptop. Um, and it's got an XP license underneath. Um, I thought I'd put XP on it. Seems to be running pretty well so far with the installation. So there we go. Right, got that same laptop that I bought earlier. The only things I've done is uh, reinstall Windows XP Professional as per the license. And uh, what I've also done is I've upgraded the wireless because it was on an unsecured uh, configuration that the old wireless card wasn't really up to it. So I happen to have a wireless G mini PCI adapter to go in just under the keyboard. And now it can go on to just about any modern network. Battery's not a lot of good. So it has to run off the power brick, but with one gigahertz and 256 of RAM, it seems to be running pretty good.